attention, wonderful Weaver employees. Tomorrow is bring your child to work day. Are you excited? I'm sure your children will be. You'll be able to show them all the innovative technology we produce here at Weaver Industries. And maybe they too will join us in the future. So get ready, and bring them to us. Bring them to us. Bring them to us. Bring them to us. Are you excited to see the Weaver, Derek? Yeah! Whatever, it's gonna suck anyway. Oh, Harry, don't be so mean. Your little brother Derek can't wait. Yeah! These inventions are stupid, and your boss is a bit of a weirdo. Don't you dare say that about Professor Weaver! Derek? Derek? Where are you, son? Derek! Okay, I'm gonna drop you off back home. Harry, I'm just gonna go talk to Mr. Weaver. I promise I'll be back in a few minutes. <sighs> okay. Where's my son, George? I have no idea what you're talking about. You know damn well what I'm talking about, you freak! I assure you, your son is probably safe and sound somewhere. Have you tried looking round the back? Don't play dumb with me, George! You've been doing this for too long! You can't keep getting away with it! Getting away with what, Walter? Are you out of your mind? The people, George! You're killing people! Their brains, their blood! All those people, their families, George! How could you do this? Because I'm the only one willing to make this kind of progress, Walter! And I think you don't have what it takes to work here! You're crazy, George! And I'm gonna do something I should have done long ago! Say goodbye to your beloved company. So now you're willing to make sacrifices. You're nothing, Andrew. This is for my children. Oh no. Oh no. No, 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 no. <laughs> The time now, exactly 8.40. Following yesterday's tragedy at Weaver Industries headquarters, we now have confirmation that 56 employees and 15 visitors were killed in the tragic accident, in which most of the company's materials were destroyed. One of the few survivors and company founder, Professor George Weaver, had this to say. The cause of the incident was a few loose wires and fuel tanks thrown together negligently by a careless staff member. My heart goes out to all the families who have lost loved ones while working at or visiting Weaver Industries headquarters. This will not happen again. Despite this, Weaver claims this will not be the end of Weaver Industries, referring to it as a minor setback. He plans to start the company anew, with staff safety as his top priority. <laughs>